you guys are sawing, this is a hickory log. A lot of times when you're cutting, if you've got a mill with, you know, several hours on it, it may slip the belt before it actually bogs the motor. Um, and you can a lot of times tighten that belt up. On these Super 70s, you've got a tensioner. All, all mills have it. But uh, if you're tightening your belt up and you've got the proper tension on it that Woodmiser recommends, uh, I think for the Super 70s, it's uh, 15 to 18 pounds when you use their uh, tensioning uh, rod. It's like a little push button rod that goes on the belt and you can tell the tension of the belt whenever you kick it on. But if you've got it to the proper tension and you're still slipping your belt, then your pulleys probably wore. Uh, we just swapped the pulleys out on this one about two months ago and uh, it made a world of a difference and how that pulley and belt will grab. I mean, I can, uh, in hickory, oak, anything like that, hardwoods, beach, I can take and literally shut this motor off before it will ever slip the belt. It's got really, really good tension now. The blade doesn't dip near as easy. It just keeps all that tension on there to where you can cut extremely fast. I mean, this log's really, really dry.
comes out the end of the log, how here how it revved up and catches up to the RPM. That's what you want. Here. And you guys can watch this and judge whether yours is cutting as fast and going through logs. Like I said, keep in mind that log right there is about as dried out as you're going to get one. It has no moisture content in it whatsoever. You can see where the spray pattern is from the lubomizer on how dry that log is. Now, if you've got a real green log, you can't hardly tell where the lubomizer is spraying because the log has got so much moisture in it. seven and a quarter wide should be able to go through that pretty quickly no matter what but when you get in a wider log you can really tell if your meal has everything correctly when you get something that's 13 14 inches wide 20 inches wide uh, if you're slipping your belt a lot you could be going too fast uh, but you should be able to cut through anything even the width of the blade opening. And if you're bo not bogging your motor, but you're slipping your belt, then you really probably want to check your pulleys. And the pulley I'm talking about is the pulley that's right in the right here behind this housing. It's where the back of the motor, your crankshaft connects to, it spins and gives your blade RPM. You've got a belt in that housing. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new to the channel or if you've just picked up an LT70. Uh, this probably won't matter to you unless you had a defective pulley, but uh, the drive belt is what runs the blade and it's got two pulleys, well it's got three pulleys in the system. One's a tensioner and the other two are drive pulleys. One's little and one's big. The little one that's on the back of the motor is the one that probably needs to be replaced if you've got a build with quite a few hours. Uh, you'll think you've got a brand new bill when you put one on. It's <laughs> it just cuts so much faster.
This is that pulley. I let a little bit of rust get on it because I had it sitting outside. It didn't have that on it when I took it off. But it's hard to show you, but in these ribs right here, on a new one, the middle bars are a lot thicker. Your belt rides right here and spins around that, and that's the little bitty pulley on this up here. Now, if you look, you can see where it's wore. See that line in that pulley right there? That's where it's, there's a, a ring, ring line right there. See it above my finger? It's real light. You can see it on this one even more. That's where that pulley had wore all the way around that ring on both of those not letting it grab as well. And when I changed that pulley, it made a world of a difference.